Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Do you have to put stocks on taxes? When you buy stocks, you are acquiring an asset that can appreciate or depreciate in value. This can lead to capital gains or losses. Capital gains occur when you sell a stock for more than you paid. Conversely, if you sell for less than your purchase price, you incur a capital loss. The Internal Revenue Service requires taxpayers to report capital gains and losses on their tax returns. If you sell stocks, you generally need to report any profit. This applies to both short-term and long-term investments. Short-term capital gains arise from assets held for one year or less, while long-term gains come from assets held longer. Even if you do not sell stocks, you may still need to report dividends received. Dividends are payments made by a corporation to its shareholders. These are considered taxable income. It's essential to keep accurate records of your stock transactions. This includes purchase dates, sale dates, and amounts. Proper documentation can help determine your tax obligations. Consulting a tax professional can provide clarity on your specific situation. They can help navigate the complexities of stock taxation. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.